Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to talk about AWS Cognito and how we can integrate it with a React application. So before that, uh, I have a React application running. So this is just a simple application. I'm not going to go into details. How did I create this? It's a very simple application and I'm just going to add authentication to it. So as you can see, when I hit the URL, uh, localhost 3000, there is no authentication and it directly shows me the details, right? So I want to add an authentication screen so that whenever I hit this URL, uh, so it should ask me for the username and the password so that it will authenticate. And if I'm a, if I am a valid user, it should show me this page. So how do I do that? I'm going to use AWS Cognito for that. So to navigate to AWS Cognito, just uh, go to AWS console and click on Cognito. So yeah, so what we need is uh, to create an authentication. First, we need a user right so uh, for that we need to create a user pool so user pool is where uh, you can add users right so i have already created a user pool you can create a new one using this create button okay i am just going to show you my existing user pool so in this user pool i have a uh, few users so you can just click on users and group uh, to view the users. Uh, when you go to this part for the first time, you will not have any user. So you can click create user to add a new user. Right, so I'm going to use uh, any one of these three users to perform authentication. So once you are having the user and the user pool and the user, uh, you need to create an integration to this React application. So for that, uh, you need to create a domain and an app client, right? So how to create an app client is just click on this, add another app client, or if you're going for the first time, you'll have a different link. So you can create an app client. So app client will uh, act as an uh, integration for this React application and it can be used uh, in any other place also. So another important thing that you will need is after the app client, you need the domain name. So this is the domain name. I've already created one and you can use your own domain, but that is a bit complicated for now. I am just going to show a simple process of uh, creating a simple authentication. So uh, make sure you note down your domain name. So as of now we have uh, we have created one app client and we went to the domain name. So these are the two things we have done. Okay, so the next part is uh, creating a resource server. Okay, so I have already created that. And you can see uh, we have read and dev. You can add another resource server. And this is a uh, link to the app client. So you can have multiple app client. So make sure you are creating a resource server in a particular app client, right? So as of now, I had only one, so I have created in that. So app client is done, uh, domain name we have seen, and resource server we have created. Okay, so let's uh, add a login page. So for that, uh, here 
a few things that you need to do okay so how are we going to perform the authentication so what we are going to do is whenever we go to this page we should be redirected to a login page as you can see that is not happening now right so that is why we have created app client uh, a domain name and resource server right so those things will be helping us to perform the authentication okay so let's go ahead so this is my app client here and this is uh, the client id so make a note of the client id if you want to see the client secret uh, you can go to the app client and see it okay so but that is not required now since we are going to validate uh, we are going to just authenticate in the front end okay so forget about the client secret uh, let's move ahead so okay as i was talking about uh, whenever we go to this page we should be redirected to the login page so what happens after the redirection we enter the user id and password and then we sh we should be redirected back to some url right so this is the url that you should be redirected to you should mention it here i have kept the sign out url the same but we, since we are not going to use it uh, you can just put anything here okay so these are the settings implicit can should be checked and there's nothing else required right so you have all the data now how do you achieve the uh, authentication so first of all uh, you have to take everything and you have to form a url okay so that is like this so this is the url so what is this part this part is the domain name i can just show you as you can see here this is the domain name so the url the first part of the url is the domain name and then login and then you have to pass a few parameters so client id client id uh, we have already seen here uh, when we created a client we got the client id right so we have the client secret also but that is not required and you should never use your client secret in the front end so keep it secret and use the client id so that is the first parameter that we have passed let's come to the second one response type is token so this is by default uh, you have to keep it and then comes the scope so scope is the resource server which we have created it should be under the client id sorry uh, the app client right so here you have the scopes okay coming after the scope uh, you have the redirect uri right so redirect uri is also uh, mentioned here app client settings so make sure uh, you can add login uh, sorry authentication to a different different pages so make sure to add all those uh, uris here okay so if that is a valid uri then only you will be uh, redirected back to this right you cannot simply mention something here if it is not available in this it is not going to redirect to that right if you want to have something we just add it here so just with these uh, simple things we can achieve authentication right so okay so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to check if 
uh, before that okay so what this uh, uh, url will return to us so uh, once you log in and you your login is successful so what you're going to get is uh, you're going to get the access token so this access token you have to uh, keep it in your session in your cookies or somewhere else i'm going to save it in uh, local storage right so as of now i've set it as blank i'm just going to remove this code and once i uh, get the data i'll just save it in the access token if the access token is not available i am going to redirect to the login page right okay so as of now you can see the application is accessible to anyone now we are going to restrict it only for valid users okay so this is the code for that i'm going to explain it so first i am checking whether i have the access token or not if it is not there uh, it should be uh, like this is a code which will be used for the first time uh, uh, for the first page after login so after the redirection we will have the access token and that we are going to store it in the local storage right and if it is not there we are going to redirect it to the login page again okay so let's see it in action i'm just going to refresh it okay so as you can see here my code is checking for the access token right then it will check for the hash if there's a hash so if there's no hash then it will do nothing and then again here the final check and then we are reload uh, we are redirecting it to the login page okay so i'm just going to enter the login details okay just going to sign in as you can see we are in the page and just notice the difference uh, here so what has happened is we are uh, redirected we have been redirected to the uh, expected page and then uh, cognito has given us the access token so with this token uh, we can uh, keep our session active okay and this is a token that will be uh, used when we are sending a re uh, request to our backend and with this token uh, we can get the user details right so this is how you integrate your application uh, with cognito this is the first step actually so there are a lot of things that you need to do other than this uh, whenever you do a service call you need to pass this token and from the back end you need to verify this using the client id and client secret right and uh, in the front end you can get the user details using this token and you can just show it in the screen so for now we have just completed a simple integration uh, with the react.js application and with aws cognito so for now there is 
the very few simple steps that we have did we are just redirecting if we don't have the token but there are a lot of things you can add in this application like you can have the user details and you can have the login and logout page right so this is uh, just a simple example of how you can uh, integrate Cognito with your React application. That's the end of this video guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching.